Hey guys, what's up? Super Japanime here, and today I will be reviewing the Baby Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog movie plush. Um, before we get started, this is a rather unique design they've gone with. Um, I'm not going to give too much spoilers towards the movie since the movie is uh, nearly upon us um, for the regular public like myself and you guys, the fans. But um, yeah, this is a rather unique design, and I do not know what to think of it. There is a lot of uniquenesses about this plush that I just can't put my finger on. And uh, that's probably one of the reasons why I actually went out and bought this um, from eBay, uh, from a US seller. I just think it's so unique and just so weird at the same time. I mean, a lot, there is probably a lot of people that hate this plush, but to me, this is very unique and I love uniqueness and I think it's actually well done. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, um, I have the Sonic Hedgehog movie posters in the back. Um, I will be seeing a movie uh, very soon with a good friend, so, you know, can't wait for that. And, uh, yeah, I did do a review on the small Sonic the Hedgehog movie plush, the more grown-up version, we shall say. Um, I'll leave a link down below for that review. So, as comparison, yeah, quite, this guy is, is, is small compared to the small version of this one. So, yeah. Um, definitely recommend recommend you buy this guys. This this plush here is pretty cool, um, rather basic like this one here, but it's worth going out there and buying it. It's Sonic Hedgehog movie, it's brand new, new design, new Sonic. Yeah, why not? So we went back to the uh, plush at hand here. Um, we'll look at the cardboard tag and the touch tag. As you can see, it's the let's say teenage version or adult version of Sonic the Hedgehog on here. With um, I do love the way the shape of the cardboard tag is you have the massive touch tag of Sonic Hedgehog movie in uh, black and white um, so let's uh, let's cover the features here so it's kind of weird the way they've done the feet he hasn't doesn't have any toes it looks like they're shoes but they're not they're his feet kind of weird the same with the hands very well very very basic um, although the stitching is done rather well I do love the way they've done the ears, not too bad. Um, I love the embroidment of the eyes, very good job on that. Um, the f the muzzle is quite an interesting part of the plush as well. You have the embroidment of a smile at the bottom there. Um, interesting design. Have felt on, part of felt's uh, stitched on with the ears. Uh, and we go to the back, as usual you can see Sonic has his uh, Spike, so he's got his extra quill here. He has a couple of felt ones at the bottom and a little tiny stubby tail. Now, this is this isn't everyone's cup of tea, and I can understand that. But as a, I'd say serious collector of Sonic Hedgehog memorabilia, I just had to have it, guys. It's just so unique and so cool at the same time, and weird as well. It's just one of them weird. You know, it kind of reminds me of. Sega World Sydney, um, Sega World uh, memorabilia, where they have them goofy looking, you know, expressions and sort of, you know, you know, out of place characteristics. And especially, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll name the, um, they call it Mutant Towers, um, out of the Sega World Sydney set. That that was very uh, weird and unique looking. And I feel the sort of same way that it has this, this about this plush, it has the same uniqueness. Um, and it has great quality, don't get me wrong, this plush has great quality. Um, kind of weird proportion, but I guess it's they're trying to go for a baby. Sonic, so yeah. Kind of weird, but has that fantastic uniqueness. I do actually recommend, if you guys like something different, and, you know, I'd say go for it, definitely buy it. Um, there ain't many on eBay, it's actually quite hard to get hold of now, so it may take you a while to get hold of, maybe from a private seller be more handy, but yeah. Definitely good, definitely great quality, and definitely worth chasing after if you want to sound different in your collection. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I will be back with uh, more reviews along the week and whatnot. Um, I am actually glad to be back, and hopefully, I can catch up with some of my old friends on YouTube and whatnot, and uh, hopefully, interact with new fans of my channel. Um, I do appreciate all the support I get from you guys, and I will be showing you more love very soon with more merchandise. Oh.